Any questions for LeBron? First question on the right side on one, fourth row. Yes, LeBron, uh, Dave Lewis, NBC News Radio, um, right here. From your perspective, what went wrong in that third period? The game was still within reach, and then they broke it open late in the third. Um, turnovers. And, uh, you know, that's wasn't well, just the third quarter. It was the whole game, you know, and it started with myself, you know, having some, some turnovers, especially in the first half. You know, I pride myself on not turning the ball over, and I did it too much. So, you know, 20 turnovers for 21 points on the road and uh, 56 points in the paint. You know, uh, we did a great job of covering the three-point line, but other than that, you know, they uh, – you know, they played a hell of a game. Just one follow-up with that. Uh, so much was made about the time off for both teams. Any uh, prospect of rust being a factor? No, I don't think so. Uh, but I also know that you cannot uh, simulate, you know, what they bring to the table. No matter how many days that you have to prepare, you can't simulate, uh, you know, what they have. So, you know, it's great to get the first game up underneath us. You know, and we made a lot of mistakes. They capitalized, and uh, we get an opportunity to get a couple of days to – uh, to see what they did, to see what we did wrong, and how we can be better in game two. Go left side over here. Joe Varden, Cleveland.com. LeBron, um, if there was one thing that, that stands out to you about them, whether it's speed or, or, or whatever, what, what, would it, what was it for tonight? KD. He's just, obviously, he hasn't been here in the last two finals. I mean, what, what is it about him? That, what kind of impact does he make? How does he change things? Well, I mean, you take... Uh, one of the best teams that we had ever assembled last year, you know, that we saw in the regular season and in the postseason, you know, and then, you know, in the off season, you add a, a high powered offensive talent like that and a, and a great basketball IQ like that, you know, that's what stands out. I mean, it's no, it's no ifs, ands, or buts. I mean, it's, it is what it is. And, you know, we got to figure out how to, uh, you know, t how to combat that, you know, which is going to be a tough challenge for us, but, you know, that's what stands out. Mike, you're in the third row. Mike Wise, uh, ESPN's The Undefeated. LeBron, uh, Doc Rivers said that the Warriors have this penchant for making teams uh, almost concentrate too much on the three. You start to get it in your head that you need to prevent them from three-pointers, and then the inside opens up. Uh, were you guys victims of that tonight? Did you feel that? No, nah, we was victims of ourselves for one. Now, like I said, we had 20 turnovers, and there's no way you're going to win a ball game having 20 turnovers against this team and on the road. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, we gave up a lot of, in transition. They had 27 points on fast breaks. And follow up, um, Kyrie and you got into a lot of isolation situations. Do you feel like the ball needs to move a little more? I mean, that's part of our game. I mean, that's part of our game. It's what got us here. You know, so, um, you know, like I said, we definitely want to be more in the 20s and assists. But that's what got us here. And, uh, you know, we got to be able to make shots. We got to be able to move the ball. We know that. But... You know, playing ISO ball um, has helped us get to this point. It has gave us success in the last three years. So, you know, we don't want to have a, a high, steady diet of it because the defense, you know, has become stagnant and, you know, our players become stagnant. But, you know, that's part of our package. Standing in the back under the camera. LeBron, Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. When your offense isn't flowing the way that you're used to and you're turning the ball over the way that you were tonight, what can be done, if anything, to not allow that to carry over to the defensive end? Well, I think, uh, I mean, a couple instances. First of all, we got to stop the ball in transition. There was a few times where we fanned out to the three-point line and let guys just go right down the middle for a dunk. You know, and I know, I believe KD had two or three of those. So, you know, when you turn the ball over, you got to know that, you know, that's their best. That's when they become very dangerous, you know, because those guys, you know, they, they sprint down the lane, they sprint to the three-point line, they put a lot of pressure on your defense. So, you know, but the ball is the number one thing. You know, we got to stop the ball first and then, fan out to the three-point line if those guys, uh, you know, go there. Third row in the center. Tess Stevens, ABC7, San Francisco. Um, were you surprised how many times the Warriors drove in and got to the rim tonight? Uh, no, I wasn't surprised at anything. Um, you know, they are a high-powered offensive team. They can shoot the ball from the perimeter. They can get into the paint. Uh, they do everything um, exceptionally well, if not great. So never surprised by anything that they can do. Back right on three. LeBron, David Echinellato, Gazzetta Italy. Uh, as a leader, what is your message to your teammates after a bad loss like this? Uh, let's get focused on game two. Uh, you know, we made a lot of mistakes. You know, it's nothing really that need to be said. Uh, we know uh, we're capable of playing a lot better. You know, we didn't, we didn't play 
um, as well as we know we're capable of. So uh, we look forward to the next one. Jason standing on the right. Jason Lloyd, The Athletic. Tristan seemed to have a tough night. Uh, a bunch of bench guys had a tough night. Outside of you, Kyrie and Kevin, what do you need from the complimentary players in this series? What do you need out of them? Uh, just to be themselves and do what, we, what they've done throughout the course of the season, throughout the course of the last couple of years. Um, play with energy, play with effort, uh, play with their mind and their bodies, and uh, you know, understand what we're trying to accomplish. So, um, like I said, it's going to be, um, you know, this is the finals, and you know, we don't we don't care about making mistakes. Just play as hard as you can, and um, you know, follow the game plan. Have your mind in it, and uh, if your mind is fresh and your mind is into it, then um, you know, a lot of things take care of yourself. Any other questions over here in the third row? Uh, Chuck Nevius, uh, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. First quarter, you had uh, eight free throws. You had four the rest of the game. Do you feel like you could have been do doing more driving to the hole? It's one of your strengths, obviously. Well, the game is, I mean, it's played how it's played. I mean, I don't know. I mean, first half, I had six turnovers. Second, I had two. So could I have turned the ball over more in the second half? I mean, the game is just, the game is just played that way. Thank you, LeBron. Draymond Green will be in shortly.